So when it's time to start entering new data into your spreadsheet, it's pretty easy as long as you know how to navigate around and how to enter the new um, numbers or text in. So in this case, we're going to try to fill in column G for our week four expenses in our budget spreadsheet. Um, and so for housing, I've got my $25 renter's insurance. And there's a couple ways that you can navigate to the cells you're looking to work with. So for example, for transportation this month, um, I had 300, or this week I had 352. I can push enter, and that just moves me down to the next cell. It's assuming that I'm going to continue entering in that, in that way. My next item is 150. The other thing I can do is I can just use my um, mouse pad to move around and click into individual cells that I want to enter. I can also use tab, which will move me left and right instead of up and down. Um, and I know you guys can't see what I'm pushing on my keyboard, but in this case, I'm using the arrow keys. And using the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can kind of navigate to wherever it is I'm trying to go. So here I want to put 310. I'm going to go down here. My next fence is for entertainment. I'm going to click into the next cell. Okay. So now I've filled in this entire column here, um, and then I realized that this 352 was actually supposed to be 325, that I flipped around the digits. So a couple ways to change that. I can click up here using my mouse, or I could use my arrows to move up and down. And basically the way that spreadsheets work is if, if I really meant this to be 325, now that I'm there, I can just type the whole number over again. So 325, push enter, and it's changed the whole cell. Um, the other thing that I can show you how to do is, um, let's say down here, I also want to create a calculation for the average weekly spending. And in this case, I realized that I misspelled average. Now, of course, if I click there and start typing again, um, it's going to overwrite the entire cell because that's the way the spreadsheet works. If I don't want to retype everything and I just want to make the correction, I have to double click inside of there, navigate to exactly where I need to make my, error, my correction, and then go ahead and push enter. So you have two choices basically. Overwrite the entire cell and type everything new, which is kind of easy to do for something like 352 changing to 325, or double click inside and then that will let you um, update individual characters. One other thing I wanna show you is that you can copy, cut, and paste in spreadsheets the same way you do in um, in text documents. So for example, if this average weekly spending that I put in column D was actually meant to go in column C, um, I can go here and I can push delete and that just gets rid of everything. But now I have to retype it. So let's go to edit and undo and put that back there. Um, rather than retype this, what I can do is I can navigate to that cell and you can tell that the cell is highlighted. Go up to edit, I want to cut it out of that cell, but you can see I could also copy from this screen. If I wanted to put it on there twice, I'd copy. Instead, I'm going to cut it, and I just want to move it over to column C, up here again, and paste. And now, basically, I didn't have to retype it, I've just moved it from one spot to the other. Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance. I hope my video made you love spreadsheets as much as I do. NGPF is a nonprofit organization offering free personal finance resources for high school teachers to use with their students. Frankly, our curriculum is amazing. Be sure to check out our website or watch my entire playlist of helpful spreadsheet videos. Enjoy!